All right, so tonight we're gonna check the track and make some track pins. Um, where do you get track pins for a Bren gun carrier? They don't make them anymore. Uh, well, an old guy that had one told me when I bought the spare wheel for the other side, he told me to use uh, 7 16 drill stock. So that's what I got, that's what we're gonna use. Uh, you can see a length over here. And I have a broken one that's got an end missing off of it. About, I think, that much in there. So we're gonna pound that through without taking the track off. Should be able to pound it through. Now I might have, should have ground that to a little bit of a point so it would go through fat easier. But I think I'll be all right. So we're gonna pound that through and then we're gonna cut her off. We're gonna weld the washer. Home hardware special. These are expensive. They're like 35 cents a piece. Crazy, or 25 cents. Anyway, 7 16 washer. We're gonna weld on both sides like that. Just weld it there, it's just enough to hold it in. There's not a lot of pressure on it, so. All right, first things first. All right, here it goes. Hopefully it goes through without binding up. I really don't want to take the track back off. Just like that. Must mean I'm near the end. So far, so good. Put my finger over it. Very good. Just like that. Okay, so since there's a lack of information on YouTube about all this stuff, I'm going to do it right or wrong. I don't care. Leave your comment down there. I'm going to use two washers and I'm going to put the thick side in. I got some thick. I'm going to weld that on there like that and maybe tack it in there just so it's stronger. There's not a lot of weight pressure on it, but you can see there is a, there is play, there is a gap. So this side over here on the other side, I'm going to make sure when I cut it off, I leave enough room for. Sorry about the film. I'm going to cut it off in here somewhere. Don't want it too long, don't want it too short. I'm going to cut it off in here somewhere. So I'm just going to mark that right now. So I know where I'm going to cut it off. Right about there somewhere. Well, I'll move right there. Now we'll have two more washers on there and then that track pit will be done. Then we'll continue checking the tracks. Make sure there's no more broken pins on this side. Then I'll jack it up and do the same on that side. Alright, so you can see I drove that one in there fairly no problem. I could have tapered the edge a little bit here. It made it even easier. But you can see the length of that piece that was broke out of there. Wouldn't have been long before that worked its way out and snapped off there or caused all kinds of trouble. Alright, so I got my welder fixed. This is the next week. Getting back at her. And we got some crappy looking welds right here. Uh, not going to blame it on the flex core. Not going to blame it on the non-auto darkening helmet that I'm wearing, but anyway, it is what it is. I can weld better than that, but anyway. Um, I left some space, tried to leave some space in between there, like these, see right here, kind of looks like that one might be broke too, I should get a claw hammer and hook onto that one. Anyway, that's the idea, I'm going to go through the whole track, jack her up, and if I get any like this, I'm going to see if I can pull on them, see if they come out, and if we find any more, we're going to replace them. So that's uh, how I'm going to replace the track pins, uh, might take the tension out of that, uh, add Tension that up a little more. I'm not sure yet. I don't want the track flying off again. Maybe I just won't do any more donuts. That'll fix it. Anyway, guys, if you like this kind of thing, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And please share it. It helps me out a lot. You wouldn't believe how many more views I get. More views I get, the more motivated I get, and the more videos you guys are going to get. So it always helps. 